Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the gospel passage we read today is one of the beautiful passages. You know, one passage which is awesomely graced. You know, a lot of things come together in this visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. When Mary visited Elizabeth, it shots nest Mary and her cousin Elizabeth. It's Old Testament and New Testament coming together to show the connect of the divine work. John the Baptist was the last of the prophets. And Jesus heralded the New Testament. And look, today's psychology, today's medical sciences would tell how from the time of conception, the baby in the womb begin to learn. And today's gospel passage says, they begin to re learn not only about human things, they begin to learn about God. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is something that should help us get fortified in our faith in God. I'm sure with this pandemic, there are times when we do not know what next. How will this be handled? But one way we should be knowing is we can handle this. For nothing is really impossible for God and with God. And this is what, my dear brothers and sisters, the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary invites us to learn. It's true that you and I are not called to magnify Mary more than what God has done to her. You know, usually in the Marian shrine sometimes Mother Mary supersedes all the other things. No, that's not what God intended. In a story is told that a great devotee of the Blessed Virgin Mary visited a shrine of Mother Mary, which was a magnificent shrine with its huge dome. And she came in front of the altar and she was praying and there was the painter who was doing the painting on top. He noticed the woman coming and then she was praying with her eyes closed. Then to poke some fun, he cried out from the top, I am Jesus. The woman looked around. Again she closed her eyes and started praying. So this man again called out, I am Jesus. She opened her eyes, looked onto the altar, looked around, she found nobody. And the man third time did the same. And the lady said, Shh, Jesus, be quiet. I am talking to your mother. This is exaggeration. This is not what we are called. We are called to go through Mary to Jesus. 
And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is something that Mother Mary herself, through the visitation of Elizabeth, has done. She, the angel Gabriel told Mary, you will conceive a son with the Holy Spirit and he shall be Jesus and your cousin Elizabeth who was barren has already conceived and she is six months with the son. Mary went in haste I'm sure not to tell, look, I also conceived, you also conceived. No. As Elizabeth would say, she went in haste to see God's promise coming to fulfillment. Going quickly, believing in the promises of God is what faith, dear brothers and sisters. The readings of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary invites us, be quick to believe in all that the scripture says. And Jesus assures, nothing, not even iota, a dot that is in the Holy Scripture will go unattended to believe in the promises of God and claim these promises. That's what Elizabeth is surprised. You are the son of the God and you come to visit me. How great humility. And Mary begins in her faith the Magnificat and she praises God for in her lowliness God has graced her life. This is the second part my dear brothers and sisters. I invite you to reflect. God has graced our lives in our lowliness. There is absolutely no second thought. There is none who deserves to be graced by God. If you feel so, then you should be an angel that you deserve God to be graced. In our lowliness, God has graced our lives. Let's turn unto God in gratitude. First, let's claim the promises of God. Enhance our faith Two, let's turn unto God in gratitude. Third, make scripture and faith come alive. Make scripture and faith come alive is the mandate that God has given to you and to me. It says, love the Lord your God with all your might. Is faith element. Second part is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Dear brothers and sisters, I am not sure if you ever had an experience. I do. You know, when people know about something happening for you, whether it is health, whether it is uh, something that's whether happy or not so happy, they call you and ask, hi friend, how are you? And check on you. Express their joy or their concern. It brings great comfort. It brings great consolation. This is the practical part of a Christian. We have to not only thank God, we have to reach out. Yeah, of course, possible ways. And this is what Mary did. You know what is the first gift of the Holy Spirit? It is the gift of joy. And joy radiated when Elizabeth and Mary met. For it was the Holy Spirit by which Mary conceived. It was the divine intervention 
by which Elizabeth conceived. And the chosen ones of God were around and there was joy. And this is what the visitation of Mother Mary helps us. These three aspects I invite, we pray that promises of God be claimed in our lives. Let's turn with a sense of realization that God has graced our lives in spite of our lowliness. And third, God help me to reach out. And may God be a guide and strength. May Mother Mary intercede for us. Amen.